Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about money supply in financial market. Now, before starting, I would want to point this thing out that in the diagram that we just learned in the previous video, I mentioned that X axis represents MD, but it does not really denote only MD. It also denotes MS, and hence to reduce confusion we call it m okay so now onwards you'll write mention x axis to be m now i'll give a proper explanation about that well while talking about financial market we need to make sure that everything is in equilibrium now equilibrium is a position where md is equal to ms is equal to m and that is why we replace this value with m now we just learned that md is equal to dollar y n line and md is equal to ms so ms is equal to dollar y n line now ms is equal to m so m is equal to dollar y l i and this relation that we just derived is called lm relation where l basically means liquidity and m means money now actually we took these to be equal because it is going to help us find the interest rate prevailing in an economy we'll talk about it now so if you remember in previous video we studied this graph x y m i and this downward sloping curve was md curve showing the inverse relation between i and money demanded now what we are going to introduce here is a money supply curve now since money supply is determined by the central bank and it's usually constant so it's just a vertical straight line like this and point where this ms and md is intersecting determines our interest rate now we have two cases in this so we'll be making two graphs so in this first graph we'll assume the fact that nominal income increased so i've explained in my previous video that increase in nominal value basically means increase in money demanded this is money demand and this is money supply this is money supply this is money demand so yes increase in nominal income basically means increase in money demand so this curve will move rightwards right now if you pay attention then this intersection point which determined this level of interest has just gone or shifted upwards so we got a new interest rate so we can say that increase in nominal income leads to increase in interest rate right now in the second case we'll assume money supply by central bank increased so increase in money supply basically means shift rightward shift in this vertical line so again it's visible that earlier this was a intersection point i but now due to the rightward shift of ms the interest rate fell right so increase in money supply leads to decrease in interest these are two very important results that you should remember okay and that is it for this video we'll continue the same in the next video thank you